Hello, this is Carrie Fell. Welcome to my studio. Okay, here we have soaking the beautiful skein. of silk. I'm going with silk because it, today's the, uh, you know, testing to see if the silk really is silk through various methods. Smell and dyeing. And this definitely smells like silk. Uh, we're going to make this one nice, nice colors though. I don't have anything to compare that to really because uh, this was just sort of a last minute thing. What I do have is a set of three warp chains that they are wool, wool, and unknown, but it sure looks like wool, smells like wool. Um, Let's turn one of them around so it's facing in the opposite direction of the others. Just for a slightly different dyeing opportunity. So we have a wool warp and we have a silk warp in here. They, what I assume is silk, but it's labeled as silk, but smells like silk. No reason to believe it isn't. So I think what I'm just going to do is grab colors that I like and put them on here. Uh, there's no acid in here yet. So I have two bottles sitting here. One of a blue of some sort and one of a dark of some sort. Purple? Navy? I'm not sure, but we'll use those. And then once they're on there, I'll decide what, what else we can put on. Because there's no heat or acid, this is gonna start off um, with the colors being mixed and moving around. This is going to be more or less random. And the more color we add, the more liquid we're going to end up with, so it's going to be um, the water level will rise as we go. So there's two colors on there. I think we need some more blues. I'd like to put a variety of blues and then maybe a touch of something else. So that's all we've got in these bottles. And I'm gonna reach up here and grab some Brilliant Blue, which is a favorite color of mine. So I'm just going to take some out in a tablespoon and put it in my measuring cup, um, add some more water to the measuring cup. So I'll put one, two tablespoons of stock in the measuring cup, top it with water. Now 
what just needs a hint of something else. We'll go for a hint of raspberry and a hint of, I'm looking for key lime. So this is gonna be very strong because I'm not diluting this. So I'm just putting a light red raspberry on here, full strength in a couple of places. is going to be quite quite strong because it is just my stock straight and then I'm doing the same with the key lime And now I'm going to heat this up. So there's just a little bit of liquid in here, but I'm going to add more. So I'm going to take these uh, containers that have little bits of blue at the bottom and I'm going to uh, add some citric acid to it and I'm going to pour it in here and that should help this to all set. I'm going to leave the brilliant blue out because we'll add more of that if I feel we need it. All right, so this is already heating up. I'm going to flip, I think. Oh, lots of color in there. Yeah, lots of beautiful color in there. We'll flip it. Aha, uh -huh. injecting really did make it go down in. Okay, so there is color all over most of it. I'm just going to add some water with citric acid now and let it you use that to strike the color. The water has some blue in it as I rinsed out the I rinsed out all the containers with it. So the color is going to move around a bit now as a result of this additional water. The yarn. I can decide later if more color is needed, more dye. So I'd be happy to add more dye if needed. You know, I might just flip this again. This one. Oh, look at the color in there. So 
I'll keep moving it around so that everything gets color. Okay, it hasn't been very long at all. And the side with the silk is just sucked up the dye. There's lots of color left on this side though. So what I'm gonna do is move this silk over to this side. Let it take a bit of that color. Moving the yarn around really helps it to, to absorb the color. So flipping and moving. See the inside is taking it and the color sort of starts clearing out of the water when the fiber is moved around and the dye gets access to different parts. So these are wonderful colors. I don't know what the wool is going to look like. It was, it was darker to begin with, grays and beiges and things. So don't know how much of the dye it absorbed, but the silk is looking wonderful. Lots of green in there, more than I expected, but that's because I injected it straight and the blue was diluted when I put it on, so. It's looking different. And it looks lovely. So we're just going to let this steam for 20 minutes or so. So what, another 25 minutes or so? And the water is clear. So that's great. Just gonna let that cool down in the pan and then we'll check it later tonight probably. So these are basically cool. This is gorgeous and very smelly. So we've got silk here. We've got clear water coming from it. So it looks like everything was absorbed. Beautiful skein. And here is the three warp chains. This is uh, three yards of wool. One may be a wool blend, I'm not sure. Although it looks to have dyed very much like wool. So I'm thinking all three were wool. One was unknown, but sure dyed like wool. So just ends of cones from who knows where. So that uh, is a nice, they can be combined into one warp. So that's done. I'm going to rinse those out and hang them to dry. So here is the wool warp made up of three chains of three different uh, types of wool and I really like how the three look different. This one's definitely shinier. It's reflecting a lot more light than these other two. The color has turned out overall greenish teal which is a beautiful color there's some just hints of the the purple and the lime green in there just hints but it it kind of blended throughout now in the pot 
with this wool warp was the skein of silk. Now look at the difference. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. What a beautiful skein of silk. This doesn't look anything like what it looked like before I put it in the pot. And for some reason, uh, the dye kind of stayed where I put it. Uh, it all blended beautifully, but it didn't uh, move around as much as the wool warp did. I mean, the colors in here are just gorgeous. And the way it reflects light, oh, what a beautiful bunch of silk. So this is a skein, not a warp. It's singles, so it'll make a gorgeous uh, weft for the right project. Don't know what that project's going to be yet, but and it feels wonderful. It's it's just a beautiful skein of silk. I can't wait to weave with it. If you enjoyed this video, please check out my website. And my online store is the place where you'll find many of the projects that I've worked on that I've dyed and woven. Another way of supporting me as I make these videos is to join my Patreon. Thank you for watching!